this is Kalpana here in this video we are going to solve a differential equation so let's get going problem solve dy by dx minus 2 by x into y equals to x plus 1 by x sine 1 by x square solution given differential equation dy by dx minus 2 by x into y equals to x plus 1 by x into sine 1 by x square. So here the given equation is linear equation in y form, right? The quotient of dy by dx is 1 and this is of dy by dx. This p into y equals to q. We know that the standard form of linear equation the standard form of linear equation in y is dy by dx plus p into y equals to q. Right. Now by comparing these two, we can say that a given equation which is in linear in y form right by comparing these two equations we'll get p and q where p equals to minus 2 by x and q equals to x plus 1 by x into sine 1 by x squared so here p and q are the functions of x right p is a function of x and q is also a function of x so now we need to find the integrating factor. We know that the integrating factor of a polynomial, sorry, not polynomial, linear equation in y is given by if equals to e power integral p dx. So using e power integral p dx, we'll get the integrating factor to the given equation. This equals to e power integral for p equals to minus 2 by x into dx. This equals to e power. Now write the constant outside the integral. You will get minus 2 integral 1 by x dx which is equals to e power minus 2. We know that integral 1 by x dx is log mod x. Right. And also we can write this as 2 log x. We have integrating factor equals to e power minus 2 log x, right? This is equals to, we know that m log n can be written as log n power m. Then you can write minus 2 log x as log x power minus 2. And also we know that e power log some function of x can be written as function of x. So, e power log function of x equals to function of x. And also, we know that x power minus n can be written as 1 by x power n. Then you can write x power minus 2 as 1 by x square. Therefore, our integrating factor is 1 by x square. Now, we need to find the general solution to the given equation. We know that the general solution of linear equation in y, that is dy by dx plus p into y equals to q is given by y into integrating factor equals to integral q into integrating factor into dx plus c. Right. Using this formula, we will find the general solution to the given equation. The general solution of the given equation is y into integrating factor 1 by x square 
equals to integral q. This is our q, right? x plus 1 by x into sine 1 by x square into integrating factor 1 by x square into dx plus c. Can write this as x into 1 by x square is x by x square plus this into 1 by x square is 1 by x into 1 by x square into sine 1 by x square into dx plus into the constant c. You can write this as y by x square equals to integral. 1x gets cancelled in the first term. You get 1 by x plus 1 by x into 1 by x square will be 1 by x cube into sine 1 by x square into dx plus c. Right. Now we can split the integral. Is equals to integral 1 by x dx plus integral 1 by x cube sine 1 by x square into dx plus c. Right. Now consider this integral. Integral 1 by x cube sine 1 by x square into dx plus c. Sorry, not c. Only the integral. Okay. Now, let 1 by x square equals to t. Let 1 by x square equals to t. Now differentiate on both sides with respect to x. Since we know that 1 by x power n can be written as x power minus n, then you can write 1 by x square as x power minus 2 equals to dt by dx. Derivative x power minus 2 is minus 2 into x power minus 2 minus 1 equals to dt by dx. Then you will get minus 2 x power minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3 into dx equals to dt. Now we can write x power minus 3 as 1 by x cube since x power minus n equals to 1 by x power n. Then you will get minus 2 into 1 by x cube into dx equals to dt. So you can write this as minus 2 by x cube into dx equals to dt. Right? Fine. Let 1 by x square equals to t. Then you will get minus 2 by x cube into dx equals to dt. But we can replace 1 by x square by t, right? And here we have the remaining 1 by x cube into dx, right? So, instead of replacing minus 2 by x cube into dx equals to dt, we can just replace 1 by x cube dx by 1 by minus 2 into dt, right? Simply by taking this minus 2 to RHS. That is 1 by x cube dx equals to minus 1 by 2 into dt. It will be easy, right? Now, let's replace or let's rewrite the integrand. Sine 1 by x square into 1 by x cube into dx. This equals to integral. Now, Replace 1 by x squared by t, you'll get sine t into, replace 1 by x cube into dx by minus 1 by 2 into dt. Here minus 1 by 2 is a constant, so we can write this constant outside the integral. This equals to constant, this constant, and integral sine t dt, right? We know that.
इंटीग्रल साइन थीटा डी थीटा इक्वल टू माइनस कॉफ थीटा देन दिस बिकम्स माइनस वन बाई टू इंटू माइनस कॉस टी ओके Equals to minus into minus plus cos t by two. Since t equals to one by x square, so we'll replace t. Then you'll get one by two into cos for t equals to one by x square. Therefore. Integral one by x cube sine one by x square into dx equals to one by two cos one by x square, right? And also we know that integral one by x dx is log mod x. Right, then this equals to integral one by x dx is log mod x plus integral one by x cube sine one by x square into dx is one by two cos one by x square plus integral constant c. Which is the required general solution. So we have seen a problem from differential equation in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.